I'll right, we'll put a couple things here. I'm going to remove this fuel bowl. Get a fuel line here that needs to be removed. Try to get the good angle all the way down there. There's a fuel line. Okay, so the bottom of your fuel pump here. Okay. <clears throat> this fuel line here will need to be removed. This wire connector right here. You're going to have two bolts. See that there's one there. One there. And then when you get it disconnect, or you'll have to do these fuel lines. So this fuel line here, this one down here. Uh, this is 15 millimeter. The back bolts are 13 millimeter. Pull both of those off. And the IPR is underneath this fuel line here. Pretty difficult to see, but there's the connector right there. So when you remove the bowl, you can take that connector and disconnect it because the wire and harness attaches and comes over to this main connector. And that's all you gotta do to remove it. Oh, pull this guy off. All right, we got our new sensor here. So this little nut on the end here is a three quarter inch. And we got a one eighth, one and one eighth for this guy. Need a 15 millimeter for the fuel line. Uh, yeah, for your fuel lines, screwdriver for your other fuel lines here on the bowl. And then a 13 millimeter for the two bolts. And they're on the, the back side of your fuel pump or, or in between your fuel pump and your fuel bowl there. So I I did I did it like this where you leave this hose on, take the other hose off, work pretty good. But put it back in is a little bit of the pain. There's a fuel line here you have to take off as well to get the bowl out and one electrical connector. I'll try to video some of it but I gotta hurry up and get this done so I'm gonna put this in, connect it all up first and then put everything else back together, fire it up, hope that this solves my problem. If not it's gonna be my ICP sensor.